All right, everybody, how you doing? This is Smoking Bears. We're outside the bear cave, and it is like 100 degrees outside here in the south. But the show must go on. Today I got some oxtails. I got about four pounds of oxtails. I've got a store-bought Al Pastor seasoning, store-bought Al Pastor marinade, some pineapple rings, and a large onion. I already got the kettle heated up to, say, 375. So we're going to put a little smoke on these with some cherry wood for about an hour, two hours, and then we're going to tighten them all down and braise them off with our fixings. So let's get into this. Cheers. Okay, so now we got the oxtails in my little tray here. I'm going to take this little half pastor store seasoning, and we're just going to sprinkle it on top. Coat them up real good. On all sides. You guys know all about this. All right guys, so it's been an hour and a half, about an hour and 40 minutes really. So I got a small tray full of onions that we sliced up. So we're just gonna put these in, kind of put the big ones in and then fit the little ones in. Just like this. Look at all that flavor that it rendered out there. And we're gonna get ready and braise these. So let's go inside and get our Raising stuff ready. Sure. Okay, so now I'm going to take this packet here and I'm just going to put it right on top. And this is good for, it says one pound, so I'm probably going to use two packets just to get good coverage. comes out like this just push it around and let's tear it open yeah tear it open and let's put it on this side down here make sure we coat get some all over now it's gonna cook down Now we're going to take the brush and just kind of make sure we get all the pieces. We want that flavor everywhere. Make sure you get it coated really good. Get back in there. All right. Well, this smells amazing, doesn't it, Peg? Mm -hmm. She's trying to hide out. All right. Well, that looks good. So let's go ahead now. I'm going to take some pineapple rings. Just going to lay them on top. No rhyme or reason, just get them on there. And that should help add some good flavor to them. And this one just gonna break it in half. Set one there, set one there. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of the juice. Pour some of that juice in there. It's gonna act as our braising liquid. Get some foil put over top. 
All right, so let's get some foil put on top. Get it on there nice and kind of tight because we want this to braise. And we'll get it back on the cooker, back out on the Weber kettle. And let it go for a couple more hours until it's until it pulls apart. All right, so we've been on for about three and a half hours total. So let's pull this braise off. I was already checking it out. It looks like they're good, man. Look at that. So let's get it inside and let's get it to rest. All right, guys. So our oxtails have rested in the microwave for a little over an hour. Dude, I am... I am itching to get into this. So let's just see what we got. Oh my. Would you look at that. Oh. All right. So let's, let's see if we can't do a little something with this. Let's put these off to the side. Here's part of our oxtails. Oh my goodness, do you see that? They're just falling off there. Great color. The smell is absolutely amazing. Real earthy. Man. piece fell off. That's something magical right there. Never had oxtail out past doors. And I'm telling you, that's something different, something good. And then we have all these caramelized onions now. So let me leave that in the sauce. Let me do a little something, something with these oxtails. And uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. All right guys, so what I wanna show you is what I'm doing is I'm pulling the oxtail meat off the bone. I mean, you see how clean it's coming? This is how you know when they're done, man. They're just, just taking a fork and it's just shredding right off. Just pulling right off. Look at that. I started with about four pounds and this is where I'm at. I got a whole bowl full of goodness. Okay. So I got all the oxtails pulled. Let me do a quick little taste test of just the meat. Mm. That is good, rich, flavorful, melt in your mouth, man, good earthy tones, I'm really digging this, we're going to make some tacos next. Alright, so what I have here is I just have my little taco rack. I have some street tacos. Just gonna take a little bit of meat, put it in there and kind of spread it around a little bit just so we get a little bit in there. I'm gonna take a little bit of my onions, still in the sauce. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take a piece of this uh, pineapple. Cut, take a pineapple ring, cut it in half. Drop that in there. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's move this. All right, so it's taste test time. My special guest, camera girl, is going to come on in and uh, she's going to give this a whirl. She's 
she's not sure how she feels about this, and it's okay. Cheers. Pretty darn good. It's all right. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a little bit of heat from the from the sauce. You know what? I like it. Try it. Mm. The onion soaked in that sauce lends itself to the uh, textural difference between the pineapple and the, su the, the sweetness in the pineapple. Then you get that sauce soaked onion, which is a nice buffer in between the, the oxtail, the meat. Which is spiced just right. I think it's spiced really good. Don't get a lot of smoke in it. You get a little bit though. Mm -hmm. A little bit, kind of in the tail end. But would you eat it again? Could I have another taco? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I'm not a big fan of the oxtail al pastor, but it is really good. All right. Pay has spoken. So that was our tacos al pastor. I really liked it. Pays on the fence. It's something different. Well worth the time and experiment. I highly recommend. Just get out there and try it. Fire it up. Try something different. This is some good eats. And man, I don't even know what else to say. Have a great one, everybody. Cheers.